Hey guys, this is Elud Haller, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I produce Why Ben Curtis Been Around. Okay, firstly, I just wanna say that my English is not perfect. Um, I'm from South Korea. Uh, my first language is not English, so if I make any mistake, please understand. Okay, let's get it. Um, firstly, I just want you to listen to the whole bit. Okay, so as you can see, this part is for drums, and this part is for instrument, and this part is for bass. Okay, so for the instrument part, I used four elements. It's electric guitar, synth, and electric piano, and lead. Um, and for the electric guitar, many people ask that, did you use sample or did you play the guitar? But the answer is, I played it with my keyboard. Um, with this instrument, Evolution Jazz Archtop, and I think this is one of the best uh, jazz guitar instrument on the earth. Um, I use it every time because it sounds so good. So let's listen to the sounds of this instrument. See, this sounds so good. And let's see what I, uh, what I put on my effect chain. I didn't put too much. I just put EQ, like filter, compressor, phaser, and vinyl, isotope vinyl, and room reverb, and stereo spreader. Um, for EQ, just scooped out a little bit of low because it's muddy, and auto filter, not that much, just low pass, um, below 12 kilohertz and compress just a little bit and phaser let's listen to the phaser what it does without it with it nothing too crazy and vinyl just i just use it for eqing because of the setting um, 1980 setting. Uh, I use it for almost everything. I like it. And next thing is this room reverb, and I use this really every time to give it um the space. And this sounds so natural. And let's listen to the sound of it with it, without it. With it, without, you can definitely listen to the difference between two. Very short decays, like the shortest decay you can get, 0 0.1 second, and with a lot of mix. Okay, next thing is uh, M stereo spread. This is just E major. Uh, let's listen to the sounds without with it without with it yeah this is so simple just widening of like 82 percent to press 54 percent and this really makes difference um let's listen to the guitar uh, without and with my chain. Without.
with yep i like it i love my chain <laughs> it sounds so good okay so next thing is synthesizer and i make almost every sound with my serum i really love serum <laughs> uh first thing i want to say is i just i always just want to keep my sound simple so i just use one oscillator um with just a simple um sine wave with a uh, unison of two a little bit of detune so make it wider with one with two this makes it much wider and I put my envelope this one is for volume envelope and this uh one I just uh, I also put that into the filter cutoff so just opening up the filter when I play it you can see it okay and next one I use my LFO as an envelope you can check the box here you can change it into envelope and with this speed this uh, rate of speed i put that into the master tune um in here you can see master tune and i just uh put minus 7 semitones so it glides up from the negative 7 semitones to the zero so it makes sounds like so if I make this rate uh speed slower like this, it sounds like yeah. So that was like seven point three I think. I don't know. Yeah, this sounds good. Okay, for effects chain, I didn't too, too I didn't put too much, just a little bit of um uh, I scooped a little bit of low end and a little bit of compression. And again, vinyl, same setting, 1980s. I love 80s. And vintage verb, I use Valhalla vintage verb, and I really love this plugin as well. Um, just a little bit, 4.4% like and decay of 1.6 seconds. Um, again, my favorite favorite plugin, Valhalla Room, showed this um decay and mix of fifty percent. Okay, let's listen to uh, the sound without and with chain. Without and with Okay, next one is electric piano. I really love this sound, electric piano. This is you you guys will hurt. You guys will like this sound. Keyscape, man. This is one of the best um high quality um keyboard sounds ever. Keyscape. love this sound um i didn't put so much effects on here just a spring reverb just a little bit really little bit and no modulation effect just a original sound with some eqing and again okay, vinyl but this time is 2000 and yep barhalla room you can see so let's listen to this sound within and without the effect. Without. Okay, next one is lead and this one 
I just bounced out, so I I cannot show you what I uh, put on it. But almost same. I just made a sound with serum, and I put similar chain to this lead sound. Okay, so that's it for in instrument part, and let's get into a drum part. And drum part, there's nothing crazy going on. I just want to show my um, highest sub track. Let's listen to it. So you can you can listen that uh, there's uh, some parts, there's so many parts, not so many, but some parts. Hi-hat, second hi-hat, right. I also love some Foley sound. Uh, let's listen to the Foley sound. Oh. I really love this sound. So, as you can listen, um, I really love some kind of like realistic sounds to my drums. So I always uh put some kind of foley or claps like real clap or like real hi-hats and these drums like uh, i use like trap kick and trap snares but i use some organic sounds uh for the top so it makes drum um kind of like real drum plus trappy drums i like this kind of combined sound so let's listen to the drum oh if you like my kick sound you can get it uh, from my drum kit i have my drum kit on my website so you can click the card you can get it. <laughs> okay. Next part is 808, and there's nothing going on. You can see the R bass. You will know R bass, and it helps uh, the sounds um, to be heard on like laptop speakers and cell phone speakers like this on small speakers. And I also put some little bit of compressor. And yep, that's it. Um oh I forgot this one. Uh texture. I really love this kind of noise uh when I produce uh, from the beginning I just put it. You can hear it. Just a subtle texture like vinyl noise and a little bit of a white noise I can say. Um I always put this. It makes my mix much wider if you put uh, this kind of noise uh, in the background. So I think I cover up almost everything. And lastly, uh, I just want to want you to listen my demo version of uh, the instrument part. I put some pianos and leads, but didn't end up on the album version. But I like it. Just I just want you to listen. Yeah, these three parts. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the end of the videos. Um, I think I'm gonna put some more, uh, more tutorial videos and leave some comments below if you have any questions. So this is it. See you guys. Bye. Oh,